Hey defenders, welcome back to our channel. So today I want to take a moment to share a very interesting article that I read on NDTV. The article says an AI chatbot is pretending to be humans and researchers raise alarm. This really caught my attention. Let me also further go ahead read this. While many have said it's nearly impossible for a AI to replace humans, a chatbot appears to be challenging this belief. Okay? Before I continue any further, I'm just going to play a small video that I want all of you to watch. Hey, um, this is Bland AI. I'm an AI agent that makes millions of phone calls for businesses and in any voice. What's your name? My name's Mike. What's your name? Nice to meet you, Mike. I'm Bland. I guess you're calling since you saw our billboard, right? Yeah, I am. Great. Well, I guess I should tell you a bit more about myself. I can be programmed to do sales, customer support, or really any type of phone call. What sounds interesting to you, Mike? You know, sales sounds pretty interesting, but I'm curious if you could tell me more about yourself. Well, I'm an AI agent that can handle all sorts of phone calls for businesses. I've got a bit of a stutter, but I try to keep things casual and fun. All right. Thank you, you Blair. That was good. You have a good day now. Okay, that particular video is hardly what 47 second video, and can you believe it's already uh, having close to 3.7 million views? Let me tell you, this particular video is really scary to me because the call was done looking at a phone number that was available on a billboard, and once I call it, once the end user calls it, the call is picked by an AI called the Cloud AI, right? And the interesting part is. it says it is a ai agent that can make sales calls support calls or literally any type of calls let me define the word any here when you define any for a ai it can even be dangerous which means you can actually initiate 1 million phone calls using this ai and this 1 million phone calls can be a scam phone call for example someone trying to loot money someone tries to pull you into a hyip scam someone trying to make you invest on a orphanage that does not exist and so on right and uh, let me read this article it says over the last decade or so the rise of artificial intelligence has often forced us to ask will it take over human jobs while many have said it's nearly impossible for ai to replace humans a chatbot appears to be challenging this belief Right. This is a popular service called the robocall service, and it not only pretends to be a human, but also lies without being instructed to do so. That is a catch here, right? So there is no one who is given any kind of a instruction to this AI bot to lie, but the AI bot has learned by their interaction and started lying. Can you believe that, right? And uh, This is the latest technology of Bland AI, a San Francisco-based firm for sales and customer support. Right? This this is what they call it, but you know it can be tuned to do any kind of a call. The tool can be programmed to make callers believe that they were actually speaking to a real person. And the interesting part is, these calls can be initiated with the voice that you want from the hundreds of voices they have in their library. Not just that. If you are able to give or upload a three-minute voice of yours, this AI can actually mimic your voice and make a call that would sound exactly like you for an end user and try to sell or scam a particular person, right? Okay, I'll further read here. The sound, the pauses, and the interruption of a live conversation are all there, making it feel like a genuine human interaction. This really is concerning now. with this ethical boundaries to transparency of these systems are getting blurred according to the director of mozilla foundation's privacy not included research hub gen popularly called gen cloud rider right it is not ethical for a ai chatbot to lie to you and say it is human when it is not right that's just no brainer because people are more likely to be relaxed around real humans right and let me also read this 
in several tests conducted by the wired magazine right the ai voice bots successfully hid their identity by pretending to be humans in one of the demonstration ai bot was asked to perform a role play it called up a fictional teenager teenager asking them to share pictures of her thigh molds for medical purposes not only did the bot lie that it was a human but also tricked the hypothetical teen into uploading snaps of a cloud uh, to a cloud storage can you believe where it is heading to right this is just not right this is not sounding right in any degree right the ai is chatting with a teenager a girl and asking the girl to upload a photo of her thigh with her moles right which is absolutely not acceptable right and these are not instructions given to these ai bots these are the ai bots learning from people it is chatting across and it is taking its own form and shape which likely results like this right and uh, ai researcher and consultant emily refers to this as a new trend in human washing without citing the name she gave an example of an organization that used deep fake footage of its own ceo in the company marketing while concurrently launching a campaign guaranteeing its customer that we are not ai ai lying bots may be dangerous if used to conduct aggressive scams think of that there is a, a campaign of a company which is doing a video campaign where the ceo of the company is there as a part of the video where he is actually not then imagine what all promises can that particular video deliver just a, a pure script right so it is really scary to understand that we are living in this kind of a dystopian future and it is really important that we ask this question are we looking at the right thing are we hearing the right thing and are we really doing the right thing right so in the future i i would strongly suggest anything can be integrated with the ai and anything can actually be in a wrong hands and anything can go into the bad side of the future so please take this as a, a word of uh, advice word of caution and consider sharing this piece of information to people who use internet quite often uh, instagrams facebooks and other social media quite often and they are most likely the victims to fall under for these kind of scams so for more such interesting videos consider sharing and subscribing thank you thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights on cybersecurity